Hello everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be reviewing this guy right here. This is the King Pyrenees. Um, and so I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the specs of it first. And I'm just going to read this off their website um, for you here. Um, okay, so Men's Pyrenees, that's the one I have here. This is the green kind of dark green version uh, that they give you. Doesn't look like that anymore, um, but here it is. Um, so they have it listed for 170 US um, retail. Uh, it's got a 4.3 star rating on their website here. Um, some of the features it includes uh, is this PFAS free water repellency environmentally preferred leather, um, eco anti odor, and then keen dry. Uh, and then if we go into like the specs, um, you got waterproof, breathable membrane, um, keen all terrain rubber outsole, um, four millimeter multi-directional lugs for traction, um, heel capture system, external stability, shank, um, extra pair of laces um and then the other stuff i already said so that's what we got um and then yeah yeah that's about it for the website so they advertise this as like a hiking boot um <clears throat> and so i'll get into why i think that is true and why i really like this boot so a couple extra things as well before i get into my opinion of it um has you can see these kind of like loops where you lace the strings through um versus like like grommets or eyelet things uh, and then you have the speed lace system as well which is really cool so you actually can just pull the laces through around those rather than um having to like put them through holes or whatever so that's really helpful all right so what did I use the shoe for? Um, so this particular boot, um, I bought it for work and hiking. Um, I just wanted something that was really solid, leather um, and durable, right? So I use this for work at the golf course all the time. I work towards maintenance, so it's getting wet, it's getting muddy, it's getting beat around really <laughs> um, a, a lot, so. I also used it this winter when I worked at um, the resort, um, ski resort. So I do um, guided tours, snowshoe tours, and ski bike tours. Um, and particularly on the snowshoe tours, um, I actually use these. And these don't have insulation, they're just waterproof. Uh, and the leather's pretty thick. I just use some smart wool socks um, with this, and uh, it works pretty well, I would say. Uh, and, that, and I got these, I've had them for six months now. Um, so the time I got them was like beginning of March-ish. Uh, and so up here in Winter Park, it's, uh, you know, temperatures ranging from like negative 10 to like 30, 40 in March. Um, and so, you know, I'd use them on like between 10 and 30 degrees usually, and they'd, they'd be fine. Um, but then I'd have to pull out my more insulated ones that were like even colder than that, but, um, yeah, I think they do great for that. So that's what I use them for. Uh, yeah, hiking around Colorado, they do really well. A lot of support. Um, and then, yeah, even just walking around, going to the store, everyday stuff. So yeah, I really come for, for that too. All right, so now let's get into some likes. What I liked about this shoe in particular, um, I'm gonna say first is uh, they're really comfortable once you break them in. I really like the, this wide toe box that really allows your foot to kind of like spread out. I'm a really big fan of those. I like barefoot shoes, Crocs. Um, so yeah, that's great. Um, waterproofing is really good. I like this one. I mean, I haven't touched it at all. You can see it's kind of like drying out and probably needs a little maintenance or waterproofing on it, but the keen dry is fantastic. I haven't really had any leaking except for recently i think i've had a little bit come in through this side here so i'll put that in the dislikes when i get to that but um 
it's held up really well, I would say, you know. Um, and then uh, I really like the way the tongue is attached. So you got like this part that comes up pretty high on the ankle. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Like, you know, water getting in through the tongue here. It, it's connected almost all the way to the top. So you got, you know, four to five inch, five inches, but I'd say of like waterproofing if, if you're in like standing water. So, um, stitches, extra pieces of leather and stuff on the ankle bit. Um, seems really durable and strong. So I really like that. And then I would say these little lugs here in this bottom area, um, soles really grippy on rocks, uh, especially if you are hiking around up in here in Colorado. Um, you have a lot of rocky areas and these grip amazingly, almost like an approach shoe. All right, so that's what we got for the likes. Let's head over to the dislikes and see what we got there. Uh, so first, um, I don't know if Keen designed these for the purpose of being in snow, but they are absolute garbage in snow as far as traction. Warm, I think they're warm, they're not even insulated if you wear wool socks, but they just slip around, like if you have any black ice or anything, they're gonna just slide and it's like, I don't understand why they would call it a Pyrenees if it doesn't handle ice. Like it's in the mountains, like if you look at pictures of the Pyrenees, there's like snow on top, right? So like, I think they should have put it, put the, um, keen like polar traction onto these i think that would have made them a lot better um great on dry rocks and even water is fine but like snow like ice anything like that absolute trash so just they're not very grippy on that um <clears throat> one thing i've noticed i think it's actually on the other boot that one so the lugs are coming off a little bit that's not great. I mean, obviously that's a little easy fix to put some shoe goo on there, stick it back. You're all good. But, um, so that's, you know, I mean, I've had these for six months you can do with that as you will, but they are coming off a little bit in certain parts, you know, like right here in the, under the foot a little bit right here on the side. <clears throat> um, and then I do have to double knot these a good bit. I, I'm kind of a skinnier build, so ankles aren't very big and so I think they design these with like bigger people in mind I don't know this whole ankle area right here is just like so much that I always have to like cinch it down as tight as I can and you know double on it because of the laces you know but um but uh it's comfortable it's just like they, I don't think most people have an ankle that big maybe they do but anyway uh and then lastly Few weeks to break these in you know they're not immediately like comfortable especially the sole like as you're walking kind of like it's firm so i mean it's with any boot but um yeah just expect that i guess going in if you get these um you're good to go and then lastly i'd say would i recommend this boot to people um yes absolutely i think it's a great boot but if you're any doing anything winter um, especially in the snow or ice, I would say you could get this boot. Um, but if you're, if you're maybe a little bit in the snow, but not all the time, whatever. But if you know you're going to be in ice, I would actually probably recommend, um, the men's Durand Evo waterproof boot. Uh, it's like a black boot there on the website, runs about 200 bucks. And it says that it comes with the polar traction, which, and it, and it doesn't look insulated. So I would assume that it's kind of comparable boot to this, but it's gonna have that polar traction if you're in any cold weather, um, like icy conditions. So um, if you're in dry conditions though, they're better, maybe a little on the cooler side, um, this boot's gonna do really well um, because it is kind of on the warmer side with all this leather. So, um, yeah and then i think that concludes this review of the keen pyrenees um i guess lastly i'll say i wear size 13 so if you want to get this boot um i would just go with the size that you wear i really like the fit of it um i got a size 13 in this boot um i considered going lower but um over time i think the, the 13 works out well so yeah appreciate you guys watching 
and uh, like and subscribe if you want. I don't really care, but um, yeah, thank you.